Can I just complain for a moment about the fact that when I typed A, B into my phone, it changed it to the letter A and then an actual B? That was hysterical. That was hysterical. <sighs> That's the one that I wanted to talk about. The A, B? That's it. No. I don't know The player talking. that won't get signed this week, that'll still be available. He will not get signed at free agency. It's not going to happen. Des Bryant. Oh, f Smash the subscribe button now! I'm just saying, we talked about this on another video. We talked about the culture. Des Bryant will not be signed during free agency. Timestamp, we recorded this Saturday morning at... 920 so March 9th so free agency's already happened all that's already Des Bryant will not have signed anywhere period the end he will not have signed what's to say that Des Bryant doesn't end up in Buffalo you're willing to take AB with that you're willing to take him I'm not saying Des Bryant is at the level of AB play wise but personality wise you've already shown that you're willing to take some of those chances so what's to stop the Bills from signing Des Bryant to a one year, three million dollar contract. What's what's the stop? Nobody's gonna sign him. I'm more likely to be in Buffalo next week than <laughs> you're looking for a possession wide receiver. To Google Demarius Thomas end. and uh, Emmanuel Sanders and but anyone Des who's got ever hurt had way before that. that. Des got hurt way before those two guys. It's not fair to put Des Bryant, Demarius Thomas, and Emmanuel Sanders all He's in the same never category. Had any significant injury, has he? Uh, who? Des? Des? Has he? Significant. I mean, he's yeah. Does no? His, has he prior to that have any significant yeah. injuries? Yeah. What was he had? Um, Shoulders. He missed a he missed a ton of time with a with a knee. I thought thirty one. Too much of a rest, <clears throat> man. For yeah, but you're not gonna get him for peanuts. Yeah, you'll get he's him still, for peanuts. He's still gonna throw out that I'm Des Bryant. Yeah, De I'm unemployed, Des Bryant. I mean, come on. Well, now. in that case, then we can sign anybody. They're all unemployed. <laughs> Des Bryant, February 24, 2018, on uh, CBS. Headline, Des Bryant's advice to younger players, don't play injured like I did. Here's the deal. From 2012 to 2014, Bryant averaged 91 receptions and 14 touchdowns a year. Yeah, we did a statistic averaged. of, the, like, the last three years. He broke his foot in 2015. That's what it was. It wasn't a knee. It was a foot. Oh. Is that the Achilles on the same foot? Then he broke it. This then he broke the same, the same, uh, suffered a hairline fracture in his knee Ooh. the following year. So what it was foot, then knee, and then Achilles when he came back. So I agree with you, he won't get signed. Yeah, he's but, not going to get signed, and he won't get signed by the Bills. I don't think so. I just don't see why you're not kicking the tires on him because they they talked to him. But I heard a report. Let me rephrase I heard a report that they did call. On Des last year, he's thirty-one. I get that he's thirty-one, but I don't. You're not looking to. You're not looking at the next four years with Des Bryant. I think you're looking at this year, right? I think he's a player that after the draft comes and goes. If there, if you had three wide receivers your on your board, if you had three wide receivers on your board, and let's say you don't get any of them, you're calling Des Bryant. No, you're there's not. three board. No, there's you're three calling guys. Jeremy Macklin before you're calling Des Bryant. Man, why you gotta do that to me? Listen, I'm just trying to make, <laughs> just trying to have a good football conversation here, and you gotta throw my Jeremy Mac. I just don't like that. I don't like Des. I don't like him as a player. But either, you, but. you, oh, I know you understand. Like if they're willing to get AB, if they're willing to get AB, they're willing to get Des. They, they can take personality risk. He's not going to garner a big contract. He's coming off of an injury. He's 31 years old. I think All those a, things work in the Bills' favor. And yeah. I understand that. However, I, his prior to his injury. His play severely declined over the last three seasons. Like Calvin he, Benjamin fast. Yes, right he had like Calvin Benjamin. He had like seventeen. I think he had like seventeen touchdowns, and like the last three years combined, he has like eighteen. Right. So it wasn't for a lack of trying to throw him the ball because he was still the number one. I think you have to use if you're going to go out and get Des, you need to use him in four sets, in four wide receiver sets. You're not playing him in one and two receiver sets. You're looking at a guy who's going to come in and be your fourth receiver. Okay, right? if he's your fourth receiver, why not? Get a guy who's 21 off of free agency. Because I want to, I want, I think Des needs to make that move closer to that four wide receiver set. You set him on the inside of a bunch, right? You you want to get him on a linebacker. That's back. the whole goal. You yeah. Want, you want him as an age Yeah. Okay. You, yeah. You're, he's a, he's a mismatch guy. So you're bringing him in 
to be a mismatch guy, to be a package player. You're not asking him to play an absolute ton, right? Mm -hmm. But he he hasn't done anything the last three seasons. So I think you're going to get a more humble Des Bryant than you did the last two seasons because every season has ended horrifically for him in the last four years. Because getting a veteran diva wide receiver worked out really well when we had T.O., right? I'm just saying that don't I think Des Bryant is still in play. It's for intriguing. Teams. It's very intriguing. I wouldn't say I would, if the Bills hadn't gone after Antonio Brown, Des Bryant never would have crossed my mind because I immediately would have said there's no way in the world they're going to go after him. They they have no reason to go after him. No way. In why the not? World. Well, they have experience with the Giants and Gettleman. Why don't they just trade for OBJ? If you're talking about big personality wideouts. Yeah. Well, I mean. It is March 9th that we recorded this. I guess anything is possible. But the fact still remains that, um, yeah, the, again, you have to look at I know. the, yeah, the yeah. scope of player that we have always assumed the Bills are interested in is different now. Yes. And, you know, could Dez come in and teach these kids something? You know, Dez, now that he's lost four seasons to injuries, he's, he has to adopt that role or he's not going to be in the NFL. No team is yep. going to sign him with him thinking he's 26-year-old Des Bryant. Well, just, they, that's, no team will sign him. Just as long as they if he they remains, don't take advice from him on how to stay healthy. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it, if they if Des Bryant remains unemployed, it's because he still thinks he's 26-year-old Des Bryant. If Des Bryant gets signed, it's because he's come in and said, listen, I'm 31. I got three years left. I've got $10 million yeah. dollar deal. I've got, I've let got, me just... yeah, let, let me come in, let me help, let me show these guys, let me hold the room accountable because Des well, would hold the, the room Saints, accountable. Though. He may be mm -hmm. looking for a team that's ready to go now. That's, that's gotta be one of those Yeah, but things. he went, that was the bullet in the gun. He went to the Saints and that was the bullet in the gun. Mm. He, he getting, getting to another contender is not going to happen again. He got to a contender base purely off reputation. Now with the injury history, again, cycling up, he's not going to get an opportunity with a contender mm, again. He might if there's a serious injury to somebody. I don't think he gets signed. Mm -mm. I don't even think he gets signed by the Bills. I think that a team... You think probably, this is post-training camp? Yeah, I think a team that'll work him out if there's an injury in training camp, which there's known to be 17, 18 ACL injuries in training camp now because yeah. nobody can take care of themselves. No. Um, that could be it. But I, I, right off free agency, up until the draft, after the draft, I think free the camp is when he gets signed by somebody. Because okay. the roster's at 90, and he's still one of the best players. In, you know. Well, and also if you're the Bills, you want to wait till after week one to get him on the roster because the, the salary becomes him. yeah, his salary becomes fully guaranteed after if he's on the roster at week one. So you probably not, not a, well. I mean, you're not you're not concerned about that if you sign him to a two year deal anyway. Oh, you that's I mean? true. You yeah, care. that's true. That's true. If, you, if you're just kicking the tires on a one-year deal, yes, you want to wait till after week one. However, if you're looking to sign, if it's him, a multi-year deal, yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's true. You don't give that's a good crap. point. All right. Well, I'm happy when we disagree because I'm usually right. Boom. Say goodbye to Paul. <laughs>